Badlands National Park will soon have a new visitor center thanks to over $5 million in donations. Cumberland City Thorson explains how this new facility could benefit South Dakota tourism. Rain or shine, these folks were not going to miss today's big announcement. This is an exciting day for the park uh, because we're taking a major next step toward a proposed new visitor center for this uh, incredible place. The Ben Rifle Visitor Center here at the Badlands National Park was built in the 1960s. It was in need of some major renovations for decades. A new visitor center is the answer. So we look forward in the near in the coming future um, for the visitors that come through these lands to see the partnership and the friendship between the Badlands National Park and the Oglala Lakota Sioux Tribe and the preservation of our history and our culture and our language. Jim Hagen with South Dakota Tourism says this has been one of the biggest years in the state's tourism history. We have seen the interest in this park, especially globally, just explode. Hagen says this is an exciting time for Badlands National Park and all its visitors. You know, we want them to be able to, to have facilities or have places to stay or to visit attractions uh, that, are, that are very memorable and that will stick with them for the rest of their lives. And, and so when you can have a, a new facility that, that helps us tell that story and gives them that special experience, uh, again, that, that's what it's all about, and that's what will make that trip so memorable. In Interior, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. The Helmsley Charitable Trust granted over $3 million for the project. The Badlands National History Association donated nearly $2 million. And Badlands National Park Conservancy donated $100,000. Designs and an exact timeline for the new visitor center are under discussion.